them. Well, Chef Bob probably has a very organized fridge, don't you, Chef Bob? <laughs> but some of us <laughs> might be dealing with a case of cold and cluttered chaos like this girl. Ketchup packets, containers of weird sauces. Mm. Lucky for us, our organizing whiz, Amy Volk, is here to help. So, help us. You know, <laughs> of all the areas of my home, I feel like the fridge is the thing I oh. cannot keep up with. Mm -mm. So I'm always pulling stuff out. And that's my first tip is, this is a really good time to reset. It's fall. Take mm -hmm. everything out of your fridge. Throw away. We all have old spices oh, or you yeah. know old sauces, old junk, bad produce sitting in the back of the fridge. Yes. All kinds of stuff. So clear it out. Once you do that, clean it all out. Mm -hmm. Obvious stuff. And then this is just a really simple thing. Take paper towels and line any of the drawers. So that'll oh, just okay. help. If anything does leak, you can throw this out versus having to clean That's the true. whole. Uh, shelf or container again. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about containers. We don't think of containerizing things in our fridge. Yeah. But you know, you have these big open shelves and then you just start lining stuff up in there and it's like the mystery at the back, right? That's, that's true. what happens. Yeah, that's so very true. Once you get everything pulled out, sort of look at what's left and like some categories I came up with are condiments, dairy, meats and cheeses, fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and juices and other drinks. And then you're going to have some random stuff like an avocado or yes. little packs of things. So once you have those categories, look at some container uh, that are fridge friendly. Mm -hmm. These are from a company called Binz, B I N Z. Mm -hmm. And these are just some containers I picked up at a store that you can also use. And these are great, and they're also great yep. with a label on them. Oh, uh, yeah. And these are nice for shallow things. I have some sauces in here, but they're great for things like uh, cheese sticks and, and oh, little yes. lunch meats and things yeah. like that because they're shallow. It's easy to grab too then. Yeah, we're going to have a couple graphics coming up here uh, that give you an idea of what you can go at, and buy. And here's a, here's a fridge door. Let's talk about mm -hmm. that really quick. Keep the, this is the warmest area of your fridge or the doors, so yes. things that get warm. So you don't want a lot of perishable stuff, but it's great to, you can see on here that they slap some labels up there. And so it helps even your little kids know where, where's the salad dressing, where's the barbecue sauce, where's the milk. Mm -hmm. The next one we have will just be a picture um, of some soda cans. It's a great way to containerize and I tell people to containerize yes. their juice or make a drink area is mm -hmm. really, and then have your sodas containerized in this little container because things won't fall over. Over, it's yeah. easier to find and things get lost behind big things like a soda bottle or an orange juice bottle. And the next graphic we have are these bins that I've been talking about and you can see it's great to containerize like yogurts, the cheese sticks, any of those little things that just sort of fall all over the place in your fridge. Mm -hmm. The big thing about um, all of this is that you want to group them together. So it's great. You can have all your apples or vegetables or fruits in here. And then you'll know, like, hey, we're low on apples. Mm -hmm. And it helps right. you do inventory Get your control. grocery list ready, yeah. It does. And these are just some fun labels that you can slap on any of these bins. Now, I'm not a gadget girl. I don't like single-use things. But there are mm -hmm. two things I really love that I want to encourage people to buy. My favorite one is this bacon <laughs> container. I love this. When I saw this today, I said, what is what that? What is this? <laughs> and you and I love bacon. Oh, so oh, we yes, always have bacon in so. our fridge. And at first, I was like, this is a stupid idea. Mm -hmm. But bacon packages are messy. And yes. so what you do is you take your, open your bacon package, you put the rest of the bacon in here, and this has a little pig on it, which mm -hmm. makes it really cute. <laughs> it actually keeps your bacon fresher oh, than okay. if you just keep it in the the package mm -hmm. and this is great because you can clearly see that on a shelf. Yes. Yes. The next one is an egg container and I wasn't a huge fan of this either in the beginning but what an egg container does is it, some say it keeps your eggs fresher but with mm -hmm. a lid on it then you can stack stuff on top yeah. of it so you can mm -hmm. have another bin on it if you needed to and you can see how many eggs are left in there yes. versus one empty carton. So those two containers I really encourage people to buy. Those are great. Those are awesome. Yeah, so the big thing you want to do is containerize mm -hmm. and group the things in your fridge. And then I recommend every six months you do a big pull out. But mm -hmm. one tip that a reader sent me was she said every time I grocery shop, I go in my fridge and I pull out, like I clean out the vegetables real quick. I yes. pull out any of the condiments that I think. And that way every time she shops, sometimes once a week, mm -hmm. she's sort of refreshing her fridge. Yeah, very smart. So, Great advice as yeah. always. Thank and, you so much. And all of these things can be found online. You don't have to spend a lot of money on any of these containers. Which we love to hear. Yeah. All right, Amy, thank you. And you can get in touch with Amy Volk and organize your life. Find her at amyvolk.com or send her an email, amy at amy.volk.com. And of course, we will also link you at thehamptonroadshow.com. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome.